Welcome back to a, another video. Um, this is an example on control systems. Uh, you are given here a proportional controller with gain A. Uh, using that to control a uh, spring and mass system, uh, as you can see here. Um, so the value of A, the question here is to find uh, the value of the gain, the value of A, that would result in, in this equation over here. So this equation here is the closed loop function, the closed loop system, y of s over r of s, right? So the methodology here is to try to get this y s over r s to be, is try to find uh, y s over r s uh, from uh, this uh, figure right here. So if you can equate them together, then you'll be able to tell what your gain, you'll be able to calculate what the gain is. Now, in the typical exam format, um, you probably don't have to go through all the calculations that we're going to go through because you don't have the time. So just by guessing from that, from just looking at the equations, uh, you can kind of guess here, uh, you know, the similarities between your kw squared um, here over this with this equation. So the only difference here is 150. So if I was in a in an uh, in an FE exam, I would just go and guess, but I don't trust myself, right? So I'll show you how to derive this. Um, you know, when you have the time and you want to go through the calculation, and let's learn how to do it. You know. So uh, here we want to compute we are given y of y, y of s over r of s already here so you want to compute it from here and equate the two together so let's start from here every time i'm given a um you know function here like transfer function i just kind of drive each uh, leg here so what is e of s e of s is You have R S coming in. This is a summation, so you have plus R S coming in, minus Y of S, right? So E of S is equal to R of S minus Y of S. Here, what's U of S? U of S is equal to you have a multiplier here that's gain times e of s so you have a times e of s what's y of s y of s is your multiplier is this uh, um, transfer function here multiplied by u of s so you have u of s uh, multiply by 1 over s squared plus 2 of s, I mean 2s plus 100. So now let's try to get from these equations here, let's try to get ys over, over rs. So all we need to do is just plug in, right? So we have y of s equals to u of s. But what's u of s? u of s is a e of s what's e of s we have r s y s so we have a um e of s which is r s minus y of s over s squared plus 2s plus 100. So simplifying this, I have a r of s minus a y of s over same denominator 2s plus 100. So then just it's simple math from here. So you have y of s um, times 
s squared plus 2s plus 100 equals a r of s. Remember, we want y of s over r of s plus a y of s. I mean, minus, not plus. Minus. Didn't erase it correctly. Why is this too big? All right. So a r of s um, minus a y of s. So let's bring the y s's together. So I have y s. s squared plus 2 2 s plus 100 um, plus a right equals a r of s now from here we can derive y of s over r of s equal a over s squared plus 2s plus 100 plus a. Now going back to what was given to us, the value of a that would correspond, that would correspond to this equation right here. So we can equate them together, right? So this technically is supposed to equal what was given, which is k omega n squared over s squared plus 2s plus 150. So this whole thing bottom should equal to this whole thing. And then of course, a should equal to this from the top. So a is equal to k omega n squared but at the same time um, at the same time s plus 2s plus 100 plus a is also equal to s squared because the two equations are are equal right plus 150 so the s's will go together um, and then you have a constant that's left. So you have 100 plus a is equal to 150. Therefore, a is equal to 100, 150 minus 100, which is 50. So your final answer here is 50. Now, let me tell you why I, I said earlier that I don't trust myself enough, or I don't trust the NCES to begin with, because, I mean, this is fairly... I mean, how long does it take, right, in an exam setting? So I, you could recognize the difference here, but it could also be a trick question. So, um, you know, I don't trust myself enough to just go ahead and guess. If I'm running out of time, I'm definitely guessing 50 because that's really the difference is. But how do you assume that, um, you know, this right here, this multiplier over here on top is the same thing as this? It could be a trick question, right? So you always want to understand um, how to process these uh, when you have when you have these um, transfer function loop, you know, system modeling to be able to quickly understand how to multiply them when you have these controllers, how to multiply the gains, etc. It's very important to be able to manually uh, manually be able to do it. So let me know if you have any questions down below, and um, I'll see you in the next video.